Hi Dalmatians, it's Miss Blaney here with this week's Read Aloud. I have another one that connects to fire safety and I'm excited for you to decide if it is fiction or nonfiction. Remember, fiction means it's a made-believe story, okay? And nonfiction means it gives us facts and real information through the whole book. So take a look. The title of my book is The Gingerbread Man Loose on the Fire Truck. Fiction or nonfiction? That's right, it is fiction. We know that gingerbread men can't really get up and run around and act fun and crazy. I wish they could, but that's make-believe. Now, we learned in our last book that you may can still learn some information when you're reading fiction stories. Let's see what kind of information we can find out in this story. The Gingerbread Man Loose on the Fire Truck. This story is by Laura Murray, and it's illustrated by Mike Lowry. Here we go. I hope you like it. The Gingerbread Man Loose on the Fire Truck by Laura Murray, illustrated by Mike Lowry. You'll notice that this fiction story is written comic book style. I love comic book style because it shows different things happening and it follows a story. It may have speech bubbles or thought bubbles for the characters and it's always really interesting. So here we go. On a bright Monday morning, my teacher breezed in. Let's all make a circle. It's time to begin. She winked and then whispered, Our field trips today! The class erupted with shouts of, Yay! We're riding the bus to the big fire station to meet firefighters and spot their Dalmatian. Sophia leaned down and said, You're coming too! You're our gingerbread man. We wouldn't leave you. Just jump in my backpack. I'll give you a ride. There's a pocket for you over here on the side. The pocket was cozy. I peeked from the top. The bus drove for miles then came to a stop. In front of a building with shiny red doors stood two firefighters from Company 4. One had on gear for a quick demonstration and standing beside him was Spot the Dalmatian. Let's read the labels. I'll start at the bottom at his boots and go all the way around to Spot. Boots, gloves, axe, goggles, helmet, oxygen tank, flashlight, Spot. I was jostled and jiggled as kids moved about. Then I fell from the pocket right on the dog's snout? Spot sniffed at my face, taking one sticky lick. Yuck! Slurp! I needed a trick to get out of there quick. He tossed me up high with his mouth open wide, but I slipped toward his tail and slid down like a slide. Whee! My feet hit the ground. I took off for the station but right on my heels was that hungry Dalmatian. I'll run and I'll dodge as fast as I can. I'm not a dog bone. I'm the gingerbread man. The class didn't notice. They tried on black boots and helmets and air tanks and big heavy suits. I dashed to the fire truck, jumped in a seat. Slam! Whew! I was almost a sweet doggy treat! I hopped on the steering wheel, gave it a spin, and yelled out, Honk, honk! with a big cookie grin. The wheel spun past gauges and switches and knobs and all kinds of buttons that do different jobs. I'll vroom and I'll zoom as fast as I can. I'll steer this big truck. I'm the gingerbread man! Then I heard someone whistle. Spot trotted away. So I jumped through the window without a delay. I landed on top of a big silver bowl. Oh no! I cried out as I leapt for a pole. I shimmied right up and I sprang from the top 
then jumped on a bed with a big belly flop. There were several more bunks with their covers pulled tight for each firefighter who stayed through the night. I bounced on each bed on my way to the door, then into a room with a bright checkered floor. I peeked round the corner and smelled something yummy. A grumbling sound rumbled up from my tummy. Sniff, sniff, grumble. I spotted a fireman filling up bowls with five alarm chili and buttery rolls. Then, all of a sudden, I heard a loud noise. Fire! one shouted. No lunch for us, boys. They rushed to the bunk room and slid down the pole. I followed behind them, then peered down the hole. Spot wasn't there, a sure sign of good luck. So I slipped down the pole and then jumped on the truck. I'll ride to the rescue as fast as I can. I want to help too. I'm the gingerbread man. Went the sirens. The lights flashed around as I zoomed past my classmates below on the ground. We sped through the streets and I clung to the back, near ladders and hoses piled up in a stack. The engine pulled up. Firefighters jumped out. They rushed to the hydrant and opened the spout. I spied a large house with a shed near the back. Smoke rose from its window, all sooty and black. I'll put out that fire as fast as I can. I know I can help. I'm the gingerbread man. I grabbed the hose nozzle and gave it a pull. But that hose whipped and bucked like a rodeo bull. The water whooshed out and it doused the old shed. And the powerful spray shot the hat off my head. The chief ran up quickly and dove on the hose. She crawled her way up till we came nose to nose. Look, everyone, it's a gingerbread man. Now where did you come from, said Fire Chief Ann. I came with the children to visit the station, but I almost got eaten by Spot the Dalmatian. I had to escape from that hungry crumb snatcher, so I jumped on the truck when I heard your dispatcher. Good thinking, Smart Cookie. We're glad you hopped on. You wrestled that hose till the fire was gone. We packed up the truck and drove back to the station. We pulled in the drive to a standing ovation. Your gingerbread guy was a brave little man. He doused every flame, announced Fire Chief Ann. The children applauded and shouted out, Yay! They held me up high yelling, you saved the day! You're really a hero. You're part of our crew. But you're missing your hat, so we have one for you. A shiny red helmet from Company 4. There are more for your classmates stacked up by the door. I tried on my helmet and shouted, Woohoo! I'm a gingerbread man! And a fireman, too. Well, what did you think of this story? Could you tell that it was a fiction story? Very good. What are some things that you could have learned about the fire station or fire trucks or firemen in this story? Do you remember the page that labeled all of the body of a firefighter and tells you about their equipment that they use? Do you remember learning about the different areas in a fire station or how they respond to an emergency? Awesome job, you guys. I am so glad you listened to our story today, and I hope I see you again back here next time. Have a great day.